Hi there, how are you doing? Uh, first off, I want to say that uh, I've become a vegetarian uh, a week ago. Uh, it's amazing. It really feels lots better than eating meat. I can really advise it. Uh, what I did is simply cut out the meat and try to get some uh, proteins and, uh, and stuff in, in the diet, which is not very complicated. And uh, <laughs> it feels, simply feels much better. I can really advise it, and of course it has an ethical side to it, but I guess the way these these these, these right uh, ways are, are locked down in a way is by trying to give you a guilt uh, trip and then trying to motivate you through guilt, and of course everybody completely hates guilt. I've been, uh, uh, for example, I've been watching uh, a number of promos of Greenpeace, and it's just disastrous. It's like uh, very sad looking people, very angry looking people all talking about the planet. It doesn't work, you know. <laughs> Learn from reality, look around, everybody wants to see smiley faces, uh, a bright future, a complete lie, and, uh, and, and, and feel like they're part of something that they cannot really see yet, but that they will see one day, like the Coca-Cola uh, world or something like that. That's the way the future should be portrayed. Uh, the, the renewable future, of course, the clean future, and not like some kind of punishment. You know, it really doesn't work. And uh, the only thing that Greenpeace is doing right at the moment in Holland is blocking uh, the building of coal-fired power plants. And I'm amazed by, uh, I've, I've been reading through the questions that have been asked and, and answered in Parliament, <laughs> where we have, uh, uh, the, we have a, a party called uh, the, the People's Party for Freedom and Democracy. Which uh, basically uh, is now has now a nickname. It's called uh, the, the the asphalt party, which is the asphalt is is the stuff that roads are made of. So I don't know. It's not the concrete party, but something like that, the tar tar road uh, covering uh, party, because they advocate everything that's wrong, and they basically follow an American again agenda. They want people to drive as fast as possible, and uh, while in Spain people are now limited uh, driving uh, in their car uh, to speeds that are more make sure that the, the, the fuel is used more efficiently. They are advocating everything that's wrong. And they're, they're asking two questions. One is, uh, uh, one is uh, uh, will we be able to, uh, to get the smart grid in, uh, in, uh, laid out, which is unnecessary, because if you have distributed energy uh, production, then uh, the smart grid is not necessary. And uh, you, know, you always have to realize that there's a peak time, about 8 o'clock at the evening, that everybody draws the most current. And apparently that's going right, so uh, that's that's the carrying capacity of the network. So that's one of their worries, and the other one of their worries is uh, 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 how much uh, how much uh, will uh, the pollution be allowed to uh, increase if we have the coal-fired power plants, which will now be two in Holland. Uh, and then it's uh, well, the government says, well, it's uh, it's it's two two gigaton of uh, sulfur dioxide extra in the atmosphere. Uh, uh, apart from the CO2, of course. And then uh, they say, well, but it's still beneath the ceiling of 13, 13 uh, gigaton of uh, carbon, uh, of uh, sulfur dioxide. Uh, that is allowed. 13.5 gigaton. Uh, what the answer is not is that, uh, hey, listen, we don't need new power plants in Holland. We are so efficient that we would actually be able to close one or close to that. We don't need it. Fuck off with your power plants. But no, they're still going to make one. And, but Greenpeace uh, blocked one in the Eemshaven for uh, a couple of days. And uh, the suspicion was basically that because there's a thick cable to Norwegian and to the Scandinavian countries that uh, people were simply using Holland to put that thing in. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice location near a harbor and then uh, a nice ca power cable. Uh, that type of reasoning simply should not be allowed to uh, to happen anymore. You should not allow uh, coal uh, companies to simply try to maximize profit anymore. That's completely nonsense because there's no limit to the profits that they can generate if they are allowed to use coal. There's plenty of coal left. And gas exactly the same because these gas people, they think <laughs> that's really the killer they think they can safely mine clathrate methane, which is on the bottom of the oceans, and use that and sell it. And uh, the problem is that if that clathrate uh, methane is released, 
we will all suffocate because people say well methane turns into carbon dioxide it's not a problem of course some people will immediately say yes carbon dioxide is a problem but it takes years and years for that to happen uh, I believe uh, the half-life of methane is like 70 years or something which means that in the meantime you have a lot of methane in the atmosphere and it kills everything that's the big that's the big uh, uh, let's say uh, echo super this calamity disaster uh, evolutionary reset that I've been talking about <laughs> you know the atmosphere changes in ways in which people cannot live simple and the oceans start making stop making oxygen and all that stuff but these oil guys and people they only think about profits and they only think okay what can I do next it's like they they come to visit you in your house and uh, well you've given them cookies and then uh, cookies are run out and then they look at your sister and say okay well she looks nice can we cut her up we don't care we are hungry we have to eat and it's gonna taste good or something like that it's complete madness it's complete insanity you know literally in the in the answer of one of these oil people it says well the gases could wipe out all humanity from the face of the earth but we think we can profitably profitably mine it <laughs> shoot them put them against the wall I guess the, what happened in society uh, what has happened in society is that uh, uh, normally you would have a weeding out of people with brain damage with lack of morality because they would not be working in a social context of the small village of the small community that they would have to or they would be fighting in wars and constantly be killed that's like the, that's like the normal uh, sink for for uh, super aggressive uh, psychotic people is war and then fighting each other and then dying and one of them feeling really good about himself you know that's you know society would say well that's fine <laughs> So we had ten, uh, uh, 10 maniacs and they killed each other and one now feels really good about himself because he won. Well, we can manage that one. This is exactly what happened to the, to the Muslim uh, fundamental uh, uh, groups in Algeria which uh, were trying to uh, attack society uh, and, and, and in the end uh, ended up killing each other. And uh, government said, well, <laughs> that's really horrible that you can't really agree on who is the most purest Muslim and now are killing each other. We really have to wait until you figure it out and uh, try to make peace with the one Muslim left. <laughs> Fine, but that doesn't happen these days. These days what happens is that you have organizations that have different goals. So one organization runs a school, the other organization runs a, a, a bread uh, bakery, one, another organization runs the oil companies, another organization, they are companies, they are simply organizations of people cooperating, they are like tribes. and you know the oil company tribes they don't mind people that are completely uh, le let's say devoid of any morality they, they, they hire them and then they give them a very decent life and if there's something that needs to be done then they know it will happen because these people <laughs> the guys that they hired they don't have a morality they don't care <laughs> it's just so you get a, a, a sorting in society of the people that of, of, of different characters they're not eliminated I'm not saying that you should start killing people but that was the natural uh, uh, way things happened these days it's, no, it's, it's, it's simply people with profit models that say okay well this type of character this guy okay I want to uh, I want to uh, plant uh, palm oil in uh, Borneo but there's people there that have to leave so we need a security uh, detail to uh, simply kick them out of their huts and uh, let's see if we can find some antisocial uh, brutes to do that for us and we'll hire them like blackwater types or something like that you can find them they're not eliminated and that's a big problem so so the next step that you would then have to do as a society is eliminate these types of companies uh, because the target or the goal or the profit model of these companies is simply antisocial and psychotic and it's very easy to uh, uh, and basically bottom line would be should be that that you have to live uh, in uh, uh, let's say in balance with nature but that always sounds like you have some kind of intimate relationship and you're a tree hugger but that's not it you know evolutionarily you have been developed 
to not take more than you give to nature. Uh, otherwise you wouldn't have existed. Uh, or you would have depleted natural resources away. I <laughs> say you're here for millions of years already, so mm. that wouldn't have worked. So that's possible. And now with all the automated and, and industrialized uh, stuff there, you simply have to make sure that it doesn't consume uh, anything. That it simply runs uh, f out of itself. And that's possible with renewable energy, of course. So if you have a solar panel factory that runs on solar panels uh, and makes more solar panel factories uh, also running on solar panels, and all the machines that you need to build a solar panel factory and all the transportation that you need to get it done and all the bakery and, the, and, the, and uh, everything runs on these same solar panels, then you're done. Uh, and you're not burdening nature in any way. <coughs> and if you're recycling all the chemicals using solar panel elect electricity, and you recycle all the waste using solar panel electricity, you're really done. It's like simple as that. The machines need energy too. Uh, well, they, it has to be renewable energy. Otherwise, it's depleting natural resources that you need to sustain the, the status quo of nature. Very long story. I wanted to. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to talk about, basically. What I wanted to talk about, actually, is that people are still talking about money as if it's something, and and I really don't think it's uh, the, the case. Like Carl Denninger and Bill Radigan and and uh, I guess the, the baseball guy that now got a nice setup. Um, Max Kaiser, everybody is talking about money and then they and then they say well silver and gold is there to kill JP Morgan uh, that's true and I completely agree with that so it's a bit <laughs> it sucks to have to say that of course that's not that's not gonna work so uh, it's not gonna really work for you and everybody else uh, uh, to focus on money it's not going to work to focus on how much somebody gets. There's two things that's going to work. One is that you make sure that the things that happen change. So the things that are going on change. And for that you need to stop them. <laughs> so right now you have all kinds of industries that, that, that are doing completely worthless, useless things. Uh, that, that, that basically are not securing the primary needs of the people in America or in Europe for that matter or around the world and I'm not even talking about trying to restore uh, the ecosystem or something like that they're simply making huge cars or they're making uh, makeup or they're making something else that nobody really needs and the problem with the whole money thing is that it distracts from the fact that the, the, the key issue is energy and energy uh, uh, allows production and production requires money for trading the produced goods and as the banks are now in charge of making the money creating it they are very powerful and everybody sees them as, the, as such and as the banks are very greedy they're making as much money as they can to keep it as going as long as possible but there's a consumable here it's not money it's the oil it's the fuel, it's the energy. <clears throat> so even if you basically go to a gold and silver standard around the world, then of course you will find that there are restrictions to the amount of oil you, you can buy. And I already made a video a long time ago saying, well, if you do that, all the gold and silver ends up uh, in the hands of the oil uh, uh, producers that still exist because you have to buy that stuff and you can only buy it with gold and silver so it's not a really good strategy it's just a strategy to to make up uh, to, to make all the gold and silver end up in the hands of the Arabs and uh, because that already happened uh, around uh, the 1930 uh, 40s something like that we went to a dollar standard a paper dollar standard because <laughs> people didn't like uh, Arabs making uh, toothpaste uh, or toothbrushes out of gold or some stuff like that they just it's simple. They have a source. It's on the or it was undepletable, and they were getting filthy rich because they were making all the production possible. And that's the key. You need production. You need something. Uh, you need things to be made. You need the right things to be made. Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Something happening on my screen. Oop. So my message is. 
um, it's extremely hard to wean people off the myth that it's money they need. It's not money they need, it is control they need. They need control over what happens in society, what is made in society, who owns and who allocates the energy to, who, uh, to, to the people that make things. And right now it's the combination between the banks and the energy companies. Without the energy companies the banks would be completely powerless. Because the money they would allocate to people, they would only have a value if the energy companies would accept it. And, uh, and those two, uh, so the banks and the energy companies, are not under the control of, of, of the people. And they need to be. And if they are, then, then the whole money issue of course goes away, so that's a good one. Uh, and actually destroying a bank uh, is, is a relief. Uh, but it really doesn't solve the, the primary problem, because if you crash JP Morgan and you have silver and you trade, then you can only do so if you uh, uh, find, well, okay, I guess it, 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 is, it could work in an insular fa fashion, but it's not the solution to the problems. And it's not, it's not averting a risk as well. So I think that uh, the popular uprising should be about how to get energy uh, to do the essential stuff uh, and demand the renewable energy for that because you worry about uh, the, the unreliability of the oil supply which is extremely unreliable and it might be that uh, mid-May or something when Geithner expects uh, the US to default oil supply of let's say 25% of it, percent of it or something like that or whatever part is it 60% that, that, that the US imports will stop and you can't deal with that uh, you, can, you can not deal with that especially in a society that thinks it can make all kinds of crap uh, that nobody needs you know you will have to have a factory that makes millions of shovels and a factory that makes millions of, uh, I don't know, uh, buckets and millions of all uh, <laughs> plant watering things and millions of plows and millions of solar power plants which is easy, which can be done you know, and all kinds of other stuff you don't need factories that make t-shirts with Britney Spears you don't need factories that, that make television programs you don't need them a complete waste of money and of energy and a complete waste of time of everybody. So it's ownership and it's control that, that is the key. It's not the money. Because even if you have like a zillion, billion, billion dollars, the other side can still say we're not selling. So that's not going to work. Anyway, I hope you were having a good time.